Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this is a three card oracle you pick with dyadic cross finish. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so the Uncommon Tarot. This is uh, the Uncommon Tarot is by Shaheen uh, Miro, uh, who's an intuitive energy worker and artist with commentary by uh, Teresa Reed, who is the, known as the Tarot Lady from a lot of blogs, the websites, and podcasts. And Uncommon is even defined here. You can just barely see it, but it says uh, not ordinary, remarkably exceptional, sort of as you would see in a dictionary. Uh, so here we go. It's a nice box. Uh, it's got that nice little clasp, which you don't often see on a smaller, and it's like you might expect a perfume to come in this box. It's that kind of quality. Okay, and the material is really has a nice sheen. So it's a beautiful piece of packaging. You know, at least you felt like, um, you know, you're getting a little something for this. The um, inside does have that definition on this foil, silver uh, foil uh, thing, uh, uncommon, how to pronounce, ordinary, remarkable, uh, exceptional. And then the book is really a nice little booklet. It's uh, personalized by the artist. It's got some good information in here about him and the tarot lady, uh, Teresa Reed. And um, a little story about why he decided to make these tarot cards, and it goes really back to his youth. Uh, his mother, in front of her children, she would lay out a few tarot cards on the table and ask what they saw, and the cards became kind of a moving uh, picture book uh, for the family. And you'll see what I mean uh, with his design of these cards. Okay, I'll just put this away right back in there. So, uh oh, I think I've got some cards backwards here. Looks like I do. Okay, so they are, uh, as you can see, silver foil gilded. Um, and then they've got a nice weight to them. They're not particularly heavy. They're just about right, actually. And just a typical dark, kind of mysterious back. The front of the cards, though, is beautiful. The images go from, you know, edge to edge. It's a nice, glossy, deep, uh, quality feeling card with beautiful, rich colors. And uh, Shaheen's Un Uncommon Tarot is a contemporary re-imaging of the Rider Waite Tarot uh, with a collage work uh, melange, uh, rich with worldly people, uh, places, and settings. I mean, you can see. So they're beautiful, beautiful cards. They're not hard to use because in the bottom it just tells you what that card is and then you can take a minute and then pick out the elements in here that are pertinent to what you're uh, reading about. So a uh, beautiful card. This is always a good way to spread the cards out and get your energy into them or get them warmed up for the day or maybe you're working with somebody, your friends are sitting around, you can let them mix them up if you don't want to have them shuffle. And uh, so that is the Uncommon Tarot. So this will be a three card oracle, one, two, three. You'll choose. Uh, and this is a good time to take a deep breath in. Let it out. Kind of get focused in your mind uh, what your question is or what your issue is or, or what you like the cards to speak to. And it'll be a yes, no, or maybe answer in those three cards. And then we'll do a diet across for each one to just go deeper, you know, and see how it is. So I like to think of it just kind of looking in on your day. Uh, you might want to stop the tape, get yourself something to drink, uh, you know, relax in, and then uh, get your questions ready because here we go. One, two, three. Okay. Now. Okay, if you chose number one, this is an eight of wands. And you know, wands are uh, actions, uh, motion, um, fire, uh, kind of getting things done, plans. And so um, this is usually uh, telling us that you know, there's a lot of stuff coming your way or there's a lot of issues here. I, it's not usually, I don't think, a nice card. So I would say this is probably a cautionary card. So probably I'm going to say no. All right, so... That's what we have there with the number one. If you chose number two, then we got the King of Cups. The King of Cups. Very interesting card. So we've got a beautiful sailing ship here. This guy looks very kingly. I guess it's in the way they've kind of uh, 
Art Decoed his hair in here. But uh, And then a surprise uh, jumping out of that cup, which is, which is compassion or emotion, uh, something uh, deeply felt on a turbulent sea right here. So this guy is the king of cups, and uh, he's not surprised at all uh, about this issue that might come up. He is the king of cups. So that's a yes card. A lot of compassion, a lot of emotion. Uh, expect some surprises and just deal with it in a kingly way. Uh, if you chose number three, okay, this is the queen of coins. So the queen of coins. Coins, it can be money, but I think of it more like va uh, value. And we see this queen here is very, very voluptuous and just has even crowned herself. Very relaxed, uh, you know, fruitful and uh, really in control of all of her value. She is the queen of coins. So it's another big yes card. You know, lots of confidence, uh, lots of solid uh, movement for a yes in that card. That's what you chose. So now we'll just take this one and dig a little deeper. So if you chose number one, that's the eight of wands. Wands are plans or actions, uh, and it's a lot of stuff coming at you. Uh, a lot of issues um, at, at the very least. And uh, I really don't know how to interpret this person in the middle there. They're almost like, this is almost like uh, a layered thing. This is almost just like a bird by itself, but then with a symbol in the middle of it. But then behind that even is this sort of a knight looking uh, fellow, um, almost like he's holding open the arms of the bird. So I don't know, this is a very deep picture, but um, it's certainly a note card. But let's get five more cards out of here, finish that diet across. So this is gonna be one, two, three, four, and five right there. Okay, we'll put this over here to work on that and see what's gonna challenge uh, all these issues. So this is an awakening, number 20. So this has got to be, is it judgment or is it temperance? Uh, an awakening, so let's see. Oh, I'm so lost. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Judgment is an awakening. It is judgment. So, so many issues coming at the same time is challenged by this judgment. Um, so, let's see what else we get up from this. The base of this reading is the nine of coins, which is just really, you know, a solid value. This comes with, you know, from a very strong position with that nine of coins. Uh, this is usually depicted by the, like an, an empress almost with, with, you know, a, a parrot on her shoulder, just really clad beautifully and, uh, you know, has nothing to worry about. This came from a very solid place somehow to this uh, judgment. Why was the judgment against these actions? I don't want to go on. So in the past we have uh, the wanderer. So this is the fool. Uh, so this was uh, a journey that started out and, uh, perhaps not well conceived. And in the sky this reading, uh, the Knight of Coins, yet very, you know, this is the person that's gonna get this value done for the royal court. Uh, this is the Knight, I'm taking this seriously. So, and then the final outcome of this whole thing, look at that ill intentions, of uh, the devil. So, you know, it started out a no, and it really has kind of ended up the same way. So we start out with this uh, eight of wands, lots of a actions, plans, and embattlement almost, and then judgment uh, right there is a the challenge to it. I'm not sure, like, perhaps if we engage <coughs> in this issue, uh, we might be judged for it. Um, but we come into it from a solid base. It was off on a new journey. Uh, with some very strong intentions, but again, the out, last outcome is is just poor judgment, and uh, so I would say no. That's a certainly a no. So now, we'll stick these back in the pack and go on to Diet at Cross for number two. Yes, card. This is the King of Cups. Lots of emotion, passion, passionate. Okay, this could be even a father figure, but certainly a very compassionate uh, leader, uh, ready for any surprises that might occur, uh, wizened. So that's a yes. So it comes from that strength that we just talked about in that King of Cups. And then we'll need five cards to finish that out. So we go one, two, three, four. And five. Okay. So there we are. And what is the challenge to this king, this very emotional king of 
cups. So this is the uh, four coins. And this is really, you know, trying to hang on to what you've got. I mean, you know, this guy is contorted uh, like crazy, uh, trying not to lose a uh, place, almost like that Twister game. So, yeah, um, holding on to your value uh, while you're trying to be compassionate is certainly a challenge. And the base of this reading with this uh, hanged man, and I'll just turn it over so you can see the figure of the man here. He's got kind of a, a dress around his chest, uh, you know, so sort of a vest, uh, and then uh, this is the head uh, knelt, knelt over with a scarf on top. Looks like it could even be a woman, but uh, the arms are, are outstretched here. These hands are flayed open, um, and then this is the uh, figure of the person with the legs down here. So you can see it very clearly when you invert it. But yeah, the hangman is, you know, look at this thing from another way and really uh, at your peril, I think. So this was something that needed attention, okay? Uh, it, it was heavy on needing attention. And the past of this reading was the Ace of Swords. Swords are uh, truth, justice, uh, rules, law. And so the Ace is a great big author, offer of whatever it is that's uh, so important right here. And it has to do with one of those things. And the sky of this reading is the Four Cups, which is, you know, kind of an offer of something you're not sure that you really want. This uh, maiden here on this rock has got her cloak pulled up around her. She doesn't seem, she's not reaching out for this cup, although it's a great big offer of some kind of compassion, emotion, and situation. There's one, two, three cups here. Here. This one seems to be spilt over two that are still up. That's interesting. It's not usually like that. And uh, so, yeah, so in the sky of this, it's just having to make a choice about something. And then on the final outcome of this with this king of wands, so at least that's actions. Wands are actions, plans, emotions, forward. And this king is a strong king. I mean, look how he's uh, sought here in the middle of this uh, lion in his castle, even larger than life. Okay, so king of wands, get this action, get this thing done is how this is going to come out. So it still is a great big yes in the end. And then, if you chose number three, we'll put these cards back in here and do a nice five-card diet across for that one. And that's the Queen of Coins. Good. Um, I mean, also a signifier coming from a very strong place. Uh, you know, it's fully in charge of her value and not afraid to show it in any way, shape, or form. So five cards to finish that. That's one, two, three four, and five. Okay. Those are done. And the signifier of the card being the Queen of Coins, completely in charge of what's happening here, challenged by death. So this is an end. This is a finality. This is the uh, and rebirth, of course, uh, signified by the moth and the butterfly, and uh, uh, several of them, as a matter of fact. But yeah, so this is the, the finality, the end of, um, so all of this prosperity is challenged by uh, the possible end of it. Uh, but you have to understand, something always goes on from that, even if that's the worst that, that happens. But the base of this reading, then, is the Three of Wands, which is long-term planning. And that's what you would have hoped that you would have underpinned all of this with to begin with. And if not, now you can think about that. And then the, in the past of this reading is the Nine of Wands, which is really being embattled. So someone's coming into this issue really having gone through a lot of uh, plans, a lot of uh, actions, and uh, but they're ready to continue on, but uh, they're embattled. Uh, in the sky of this reading... Uh, we've got this nine of coins, which is that's so funny because it's, it's a, almost a mirror of this uh, queen of coins right here. This nine of coins is telling you this very fruitful, uh, very uh, prosperous uh, woman. Just look at it. She has a peacock in her garden. So, you know, who wouldn't you, know, you would you would want to have something in your garden that you could eat if you needed to or that you regularly expected to eat? You no, know, she's got a decorative peacock. So in the um, although at this at the time of these cards, that would have been on the menu, as a matter of fact, pea chicks. So, and then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing with this final yes card um, is this uh, wise one, this Hierophant. Yeah, so the knowledge to go on, this is the Hierophant, this is uh, the laws, the rules, uh, the uh, order of which this thing is supposed to uh, happen. Yeah, so this is still remains yes. Even more so, really. So those are the three cards today. Hope you got something out of that, and uh, we'll try again. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.